Well, it finally happened, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever, Jimmy Corsetti has discussed Tataria publicly, asking many pertinent questions on Twitter, posting multiple maps, arguing with CCP agents. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. As you guys know, I am all here for it. This is a huge game changer for us here in the Tataria movement. And what an incredible person to have at our side in whatever capacity that may be. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Jack. I've been researching the Tatarian Empire for over a year now. And during that time, my opinion on the topic has evolved quite a bit as I've gotten deeper and deeper into these historic texts and documentation on the internet archives. And while my research on Tataria hasn't necessarily uncovered flying cars or free energy technology, we have proven right here on this channel that the Tatarian Empire was actually a real nation. We are truly at the tip of the spear in this respect. And despite what conventional historians will tell you, Tatari was not a region inhabited by nomads, nor a blanket term used by mistaken European cartographers to describe most of Asia. It was, in fact, a gigantic Astro-Islamic empire that spanned the majority of contemporary Russia, China, and even parts of the Middle East at its peak. Tataria was later conquered at the hands of the Russians throughout the last millennia, and its legacy was later whitewashed at the beginning of the 20th century due to the communist revolutions in both China as well as the USSR. And as I've gone deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole on this, I've tried my best to get the word out to the public through this YouTube channel, but also by comment, uh, communicating with big names in the alternative history community like Jimmy Corsetti. And if you don't know, Jimmy has done some incredible work on Atlantis and the Gobekli Tepe excavations. He's been on Joe Rogan multiple times, and while he hadn't discussed Tataria publicly before this week, I always knew he was one of the most open-minded voices online with a platform of his size. And for months, I've been trying to drop red pills to him via Twitter and Super Chats, hoping he might see them and start wondering if there's more to the story here. And, you know, I, I don't mean to give myself too much credit for this because Jimmy probably doesn't even know who I am at the end of the day. And there's been a lot of other people in his live streams and I'm sure in his personal life too that have brought his attention to this topic. But with that being said, let me show you this clip from one of his recent live streams where I ask him directly about Tataria. Check this out. Let's see here. We got one from the Observation Lounge. It says, what do you think about Tartaria and German World War II symbol? Uh, yeah, because you can't type it out. Mike, what are your thoughts on Tartaria? Tartaria's was existed. I mean, we, it's on maps and uh, it's documented. Um, I think, um, you know, uh, the powers that came in to, to be were eff effectively erased um, the civilization or country or whatever it was. Now, we ended up passing the question on to his guest, Wandering Wolf Productions, who gave a great answer. Go watch the full live stream for that. But then I followed up with a little bit of a red pill on the Great Wall of China. Watch this. The observation Lounge, many of the arrow slits uh, and defensive fortifications on the Great Wall are out, are inside out. Is that the case? Oh, I don't doubt this gentleman, but or, or lady or whoever observation lounge is, but I'm not familiar. What, what was yeah, that, what you saw? They're, yeah, they're pointing the wrong way. They're pointing toward in towards China. I didn't know this. Yeah. I um. I just I don't know. I I really want to go down this rabbit hole, but I'm now I'm thinking to myself, like, how am I going to get, cause I want to make a video on this now. <laughs> and now I'm thinking like, how do I get good shots of like all the remote areas? Like if I, if there's, I wonder, surely there's somewhere on the internet. So you got some good stuff. Yeah, dude, I'll send you whatever you want. That's weird, brother. Like this is gives me a weird, I have this weird vibe about this. I feel like there's something missing there in history there with China. That's extremely important. Now, just a few weeks after this stream, Jimmy ended up posting a full video on the Great Wall possibly being inside out, which went super viral. And then he ended up following up with questions on Twitter like this one last night. What if the Great Wall of China was not originally constructed by their own people? Could it have been created by the Tatarians to keep everyone else out and later reclaimed by China as their own? So needless to say, my respect for this guy just went up like a million fucking percent. He was already one of my favorite online personalities, to be honest with you guys, for his incredible work on exposing the Eye of the Sahara, possibly being the lost city of Atlantis, and the Gobekli Tepe excavation being covered up by the World Economic Forum. So he was already at the top of the list, up there with Ben Van Kirkwick, Graham Hancock, Randall Carlson, Robert Schock, all these other great researchers. But this just took him to a whole new level, in my opinion. The amount of backlash that this man is about to get. I mean, China literally puts people into this. Russia has literally...
millions of their own people for stuff like this. And I get warnings too, and I'm just some nobody on YouTube with a couple thousand views per video. This guy is a big name. He's been on Joe Rogan's podcast multiple times, as well as many other big podcasts. And as bad as I felt recently about the internet archives being hacked the other day, and my research being interrupted for several days, it's been over eight days now since I haven't been able to access any of the information that I normally do on the internet archives and continue my research. This news by Jimmy Corsetti really cheered me up and made me feel optimistic about the future of this movement. It's like in Star Wars when Obi-Wan says to Darth Vader, if you strike me down, I will only become stronger than before. And in the end, truth always prevails. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. So, God bless Jimmy Corsetti. God bless all of you out there who are legitimately seeking the truth and spreading the word as best you can. The world is catching on to the lies and the elite are shitting their britches right now. You better believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Long live the Internet Archives. Long live the Tatarian Empire. God bless and I'll see you all next time.